might talk about it tonight, but if you look at Jesus, Jesus always delivered his message in love. And what I mean by love is, is, is sometimes love is letting somebody know that, that um, there's a fire in their house and that they need to get out. Uh, sometimes love looks like the woman at the well where you've messed up so much and um, and God's like, hey, I'm going to pick you up, but go and sin no more. Um, and that grace just overflows and that mercy just overflows. Um, sometimes love is, is him calling his three closest apostles, his three closest disciples, and saying, hey, will you pray with me? And then they fall asleep and, and he says, he says, can you guys not even stay awake for a few hours to pray with me before all this goes down? Sometimes love looks like mercy. Sometimes love looks like grace. Sometimes love looks like correction. And and you know, the Bible, it talks about it being a two-edged sword. And we need to understand that God is not just a God of love, mercy, and grace and forgiveness, but God is also a God of correction, and that's a part of love. I'll give you a prime example. If you are about to put your hand on a stove, right? If you're about to put your hand on a stove, and your dad slaps your hand and says, don't do that, that's gonna hurt, right? You don't see it as love in that moment, but what the Father is doing, what Jesus is doing, is protecting you for something that might hurt really bad. So if you feel like God is holding you back from something that you want to pursue, or, or if you feel like God has just got you in this place of waiting, don't be discouraged because it may just be Jesus saying, hey, that's not for you right now, and I'm protecting you from something that could hurt really bad. So don't get down in the dumps and frustrated whenever you want to pursue something. It may not be the will of God. In fact, love is also... God calls us to do one thing. He says, deny ourselves, pick up the cross, and follow after Him, right? Now, obviously, that entails a whole bunch of other things. But the principle is denying ourselves. So my, my whole point I just want to talk about this morning is don't get upset whenever there's a situation that may look like a good opportunity to you or may look like just this incredible thing. It, 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 it don't get discouraged if God say, hey, that's not for you. It, there could be a couple of different things. It, it could be that he's got something greater for you on the other side of that. It could be something that he's got for you that is so much bigger on the other side of it. Or it could be that he's trying to teach you something in that moment. Maybe like patience. Maybe like love for the process of waiting. So I love you guys. I'm super excited about Bible study tonight. This God has just had this on my spirit, man. And just, just, oh my gosh. I mean, isn't God so good? Man. Anyways, I know it's been a while since we've done a five minute video and it's just something on my heart. I mean, if you really want to know God, man, show up for Bible study tonight because tonight I would have just feel in my spirit, we're going to be talking about Jesus and how he loved and how he, he loved in so many different ways. And I want to try to open your perception to, to more of what God's love really looks like. Um, God's love is, 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 oh gosh, I'm getting too much into it. Oh man, so the Holy Spirit is just all up in this drug. I love you guys. Don't forget, Bible study is tonight, 7 o'clock. Central Standard Time. I cannot wait to see each and every one of you guys. I love you guys. I care about you guys. And I can't wait to dig into the life of Jesus. Y'all be good. Y'all have an incredible day. I'll see y'all this evening.